like you flush your Huangshengs or TIDs, you can flush the DMUV4R from iRadio or the RT4D from Rattel or the KSU7 version as well. The tools you'll need, link in the description. This one, you want to get this beta version. From here, you just get the EXE. On Linux, it doesn't work, I tried. And from Rattel's website, you need the DMR update. You should probably back up your radio's data. And how you do that is through the RT890 flusher, you want to put in this command right here, dash O and then whatever you want to name it. It takes around about five minutes to do. And then after you want to open up the software upgrade tool, the DMR one, you want to browse and select the bin file that's in the same directory as the actual application. You want to choose your port and then you want to press burn. And then when you press burn, you plug in your radio via a USB to TTL dongle with the Kenwood K connector. And then you hold the menu button. So the four square button, and then you turn on the radio and keep holding it until the text shows up and it starts showing up and then current progress it should start saying removing flash and then installing it took me 144 seconds to do so and then once that's done you go over back to powershell make sure you're on administrator mode you want to now put in this command which you're pointing to the flash exe then you select the radio type then the com port and then you do dash firmware and then you put the firmware which you downloaded from right here of course i'm on version 39 there's updates quite often oh also a note for flashing the firmware once you press this command you need to hold ptt the top ptt then you want to turn on the radio and then it will start flashing the radio anyway i think that's it i don't think i missed over anything if you have any questions leave them in the description and i'll see you for now bye